great power comes great responsibility. Responsibility, the condition of being responsible. 1787 from responsible, itty plus itty, meaning that for which one is responsible is from 1796 related to responsibilities. Another word for responsibility is duty, from do, meaning that which is owing. Old French, due, did is a term that conveys a sense of moral commitment of or obligation for someone or something. The moral commitment should result in action. It is not a matter of passive feeling or mere recognition. When someone recognizes a duty, that person theoretically commit himself to fulfillment without considering their own self-interest. This is not to suggest that living a life of duty entirely precludes a life of leisure. However, its fulfillment generally involves some sacrifice of immediate self-interest, typically the demands of justice, honor, and reputation are deeply bound up with duty. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, fear the Most High, keep and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. This is Luke chapter 17 verse 10, so likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants, we have done that which was our duty to do. You know, it's what it is, man. If you if you learn, the Spirit bless you to uh, be a, a brother to learn something in, this, in, this, in the scripture, whether it be the wisdom of the scriptures, or whether it be uh, whether whether it be experience, you know, then you gotta you got that's on you to uh, put that word out there, you know. So you gotta put out what you know, you know. So it's like the more you learn, the more you teach. The more you do the works. With great power comes great responsibility. Well, faith, which is a gift, which is the greatest gift man can receive on earth, is power. All right? That's power to believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, to believe in the creator of the heavens and earth and his son, his only begotten son. All right? For unto whomsoever much is given, which is that precious gift of faith, that power of faith, which is the greatest gift and the greatest power man can receive on this side, is much going to be required of that man, all right? Because that gift, that ability, that power, is the power, the greatest power you surpass any human being on this planet because all humans, all nations, was it given that gift or that power of faith? Um, that makes me think about the uh, the parable of the talents. First and foremost, yeah, that makes me think of the uh, the parable of the talents when the Lord gave um, particular. Because first of all, for you to give somebody something, that means you you, you trust them with it. You trust them to uh, to mine it, to take care of it, to do the things that's right for it. Just like if somebody's going to let you watch their dog, if they trust you enough to watch their dog, you're gonna you're gonna prepare the food, you're gonna give them food, you're gonna you're gonna walk them, you're gonna you're gonna do certain things. Now we was we've been given the um the knowledge, wisdom and understanding in portions, however portion you may have as as a brother in the truth or whatever uh whatever uh what you call it you been, whatever office you've been given. Right. But when I hear that scripture, a lot of scriptures pop into my mind. It says, he that put his hand to the plow is not fit for the kingdom of heaven. But basically, this knowledge that we have, it's it's, it's not been given to so-called greater men that, that was that was here before. Guys like who? Einstein. Guys like uh, uh, 
um, Plato, guys like that, man. Men that's esteemed in the world. All right, men that's that's uh, Hal Sharpton, Barack Obama. You understand me? It, it hasn't been given to them. That's why it's going to be a required. Much is going to be required for the men that have been given this 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 precious knowledge. It says, "Oh, the depth of the riches, of the wisdom and knowledge, and understanding of the heavenly Father." All right. Well, basically, the scripture is something kind of self-explanatory right there. Meaning, the more knowledge that you have, there's more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that you have of this truth, is more required. It means you really got to work and spread this word out, man. You see how the apostles get down, man? Do you think those the apostles that have all that knowledge just kept it to themselves? No, nah, they let it loose, man. Because here's the thing. When you keep some of this truth within you, it kind of... It kind of makes you sick inside because you got something, you have a talent, you got to bring it out. You got to bring it out for the forefront. You have to make it, you got to make it plain for everybody. So, because this not, this word is this not for one man, it's for all of the, the elect of the nation of Israel. And every man comes from <clears throat> different backgrounds. One guy can speak a, a great way, another guy stutters a lot, but every man has a way of bringing this truth to light, man. Okay, like another great example is look at the apostles. Luke, Matthew, John, they all had the same account with, with the Lord and Mark. They all had the same account with the Lord, but they all came with different aspects of how the Lord lived his life and did his thing. So this truth is not something that to be hid. So you was given a, um, this spiritual gift, man. It's just this word, man. That's a gift, man. All right. There's no greater gift than that. And also the Lord's name and his father's name, man. That's a gift too. And um um and basically these um the parables, man. That's a gift. So as much as gonna be required, you're gonna have to preach this word out, man. You just can't sit on it, man. You just can't hide it, man. You're gonna have to um spread it, spread this word out, man. You know? You're required to go out and teach it. All right, so if, you, if much is given, then much is required. You know, the word you give, you give it free. You're supposed to, uh, you're supposed to, you, you get it free, you're supposed to give it free. You know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's basically I get out of that. So much is required of you because now that you have that power, all right, you have a duty, you have a responsibility, all right? You have an obligation. Because now you're a prisoner of Yahweh Shai. You're a prisoner of that power. So now you got to fulfill your duty, which is fearing the Most High and keep His commandments, loving your neighbor as yourself, and sacrificing your life, your desires, so you can preach His word and wake up the rest of His elect. All right? So you could plant them seeds. Because that's your job, to plant those seeds. To, give out the information that was given onto you and then Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to do the job which is increase um this this is the ultimate riches I'm going to read a quick piece of this is uh, Matthew 13 and 11 it says he answered and said unto them because it is given unto, unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but unto them it is not given right it's, it's told, it's, that, that was Yahweh Shai when um, he, he, he was he told, uh, he was speaking in parables. And the 12 came and asked him, why are you speaking in parables? He said, because. And he broke it down to them. He says, unto you is given. Unto them is not given. Okay? Because they're the ones that were entrusted with the word. The people that it wasn't for is going to treat the word as if it's nothing. Matthew 5 and 13. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, worse wherewith it shall be salted. Yeah, so the salt, when you cook a meal, you have to put season, the salt in there to bring out the taste. So we got the taste. We, we, we are that salt. We are that, that light. We are everything, man. So why let that salt just sit there? Use it. Spread it around your food.
bring the plate, bring the food out more, man. And what that food is, it's, it's truth. Bring it out more. Season up for the for the younger brothers that's coming in, the men that don't know. All right, and it says, um, if it is death, therefore good for nothing, but to be cast out and to trot it under foot of men. And <clears throat> what is that? That's and that's the parable that brother was um, brought out because. If the Lord requires you to do something and you don't do it, you just wasted your time, your space, all right? And you don't let the whole world try to find that knowledge that you have. You're going to let people scoff up in the common board and, you, and you're going to be a cheap scoff. So the Lord requires you to exercise that, that might that you have, man. And, then, and it says, you are the light of the world, okay? Because how, how we are the light of the world? Because we have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We got something that these people don't have. We know what's gonna happen. All right, we know America's gonna be destroyed. We know this place is bullshit. We're living in a, a fantasy world, man. We, we know that we live amongst heathens. Even our old people who are Israelites are heathens right now. We know all these things. Why hide that? We have to go out there and flex that muscle. And it says, a city that's set on a hill cannot be hid. So we have to come out in the highways and the byways and spread this word. We gotta put, we gotta put this, we gotta exercise what we have, man. We gotta put in that work. Alright, we are, we are hired laborers, man. And if you're not gonna get paid just for sitting on your ass, man. You have to put some work in, man. Alright? Whether you like it or not. It's, it's not gonna be easy. Okay? To him that have committed much, mm -hmm. of him they will ask the more. Right. So if you are, like for example, you got you got the apostles and the elders, right? They've been out here, you know, doing the works, thirty years, twenty five years, you know. They've been they've been doing this for a long time. All right, veterans, right? So they they committed much. So us brothers coming up now, we will have to go to them for questions and answers, all right? So when you when you are at a certain rank or a certain level in this truth, you're gonna have brothers coming up to you for uh, answers, expecting you to know. So you gotta be on your game too, all right? You gotta be constantly studying. To whom men have committed much, which are the fruit, the multitude of sheep, how about should be how shy as out there to flock? You know, to him they will commit the more because now there's a commitment, like I said, there's a duty that these men must fulfill. Which are the, the service of the Lord. Period. The service of the Lord have a, du a duty they must fulfill. Neither do a man light a candle and put it under a bushel. So you're not gonna light a candle just to put under your bed or underneath something. What you know is gonna burn up. You're not gonna do that. You do it. You put a. You light a, a candle up because you want to see in the darkness, man. And Garrett, yo, America is a dark ass fucking place. Though the sun and the and the moon is shining, this place is a dark ass place. This is a wicked ass place. So you gotta let your your your, your wisdom shine, man. Okay. You gotta let your wisdom shine. And it says, but. On a candlestick, it giveth light unto all that are in the house. And what house is that? Talking about the nation of Israel. You, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The men that you see out in the highways and byways pushing this word, no matter how you think they look ridiculous, no matter how rough they look or how tough they speak, we are the light, man. We the ones that shine on this world, man. We the light of the, the house of the nation of Israel, okay? But just like a just like a light at today's term, if you don't use that light in the long term, it can be put out. So now is the time to put put this light on to work. Alright? Don't let don't let this the internet go down and that's when you want to speak. Do it now when everything is up and running. When everything is functional. So that way when that destruction comes, the elect won't partake in that. But you have a you have a duty you must fulfill now that you have the greatest precious gift of faith. When the time comes, you have something 
to go by. You got, you have a strength, all right? So that's my intake on that, what the brother brought out. With that being said, Shalom. And with that, I say Shalom. And with that, I'd like to say all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and salutation to you brothers. Shalom, till next time.